Hey guys, welcome to episode 51 of Car Mechanic, either 51 or 52. Anyways, um, we are doing two cars at once. Uh, they're both the same cars, so we're going to knock out both of the motors as quick as possible. And I'll be quiet during this so I can speed this up. Alrighty, so um, we're going to do this motor and then automatically go to the next motor uh, so we can try to get both motors done so we can work on the frame after because this car is, it needs to get done. They both have been sitting in the garage for a while now and I need to get them done as soon as possible so I'm going to stay quiet during this part just to speed it up Now I'm going to put the carburetors in, the uh, reason why I'm staying quiet during those parts is during editing I will fast forward through those, so you know I, you'll still see me working on them, it's just I'm going to fast forward a little bit faster so it's not me you know struggling trying to get you know to the white part of the piece there and um, you know be able to press it because sometimes it takes a while like this oops like that so there's a uh, both sides left and right Let's go over here, take care of this. Try 
try to get it on the right part. Whoops. Alright. Now I'm trying to get it so um, this has enough horsepower as it possibly can get because as you guys know I do test the cars out as much as possible. Come on. There we go. Just to let you guys know this game is uh, meant for like um, people to get like a gift of the game. I mean some people think that this is a hundred percent like the game. Like in real life they think if you play this you're fine and you can go and work on another car like in real life. Well that's not the case. Um, I've had, you know, I've worked on cars before, so it, they're way different. I'm trying to get to the other motor. These are all the new motors you can get from the DLCs. There it is. Now, if you see me quiet in the beginning, um, that was just so I could do the um, motor parts, and then I can, you know, fast forward through the ones that are going to take a while, so that's why I did it that way. trying to do two cars this episode and these cars are pain in the neck so if you guys want help me get to a thousand subscribers by going over to the red subscription box and hitting subscribe that really helped me out and now I'm gonna do these and take care of them Alrighty, we're gonna flip the motor over, not that way. And I might do things a little different um, on like patents on trying to get things in. I'm just trying to figure out what's the fastest way for me. Probably be better on a mouse and keyboard, but I don't know how to use that on PS4 on like key bindings for this game.
Well, that was um, simple, I guess. A matter of 12 minutes, almost 13 minutes of recording. I have done two motors. Not fully way through. Um, I didn't do the flywheel and all that. We'll do that when we put the car when we put the car together. I'm just trying to get these cars out of the way so I can disassemble other cars that I need done. And I'm almost to level 49. I need 2,000 more points, so. Take care of the sprocket. Next time I'm probably going to do the ignition dis distributor after I, I mean before I do the carburetors, especially on this specific car, but I'm already done with both motors, so. done. Now let's move over to these cars and work on them. Alrighty, so we're going to mount brake servos, radiator, and battery. Do the same thing over here. Brake servo, radiator, and battery. Let's lift this car up. This car. We'll work on this one first. Now I did get extra bearings, I mean bushings, just in case. Um, now I took these cars apart right after the Ford Mustang um, video, so I haven't like seen these cars or been able to do anything and I forgot steering racks. Alrighty, got the steering racks now. I hope I got the inner and outer. Okay, inner I got. How about the outer? Got the outer ones too, so that's good. I'm trying to do this as quick as possible to shorten the video. But, um... Some people would like to see me work on like the suspension and putting the uh, suspension arms inside of the stretching device or pushing down device so I'll go do that the spring puller I will uh, fast forward through these, so don't worry about it. Now I hope that I can the only thing I may not have is the exhaust outlet that goes from the headers up here to inside the exhaust. 
Come on. Here we go. Do one side at a time. Now that's what the car asked for, so doesn't have that much horsepower, so this is the only time that I will um, do um, the same size tizer, tire as it requires because it don't have much horsepower. Probably has max amount, maybe 200, maybe 300 after the performance mods that I made or put on it. But I'm also still not too sure. Now, I'm trying to put this car as fast as possible together. Fast as possible. Come on. Alrighty, so all the front end is together so far. Now let's take a look at the back end. This is leaf spring, so yeah, this is going to be a little complicated, but because you need basically everything. Come on, here we go. Takes a little bit longer to put the back end together. I know some of the other vehicles don't have leaf spring. They're more complex, but I guess this is the simplest um Well this is what they used to do in the back in the day. Well back no um nineteen sixties. 1970s and 1980s. Some vehicles today still have them. Um, and if you don't have them, you can get leaf spring kits and be able to hook up a leaf spring back axle to a car that may have not have had leaf spring prior. Come on. There we go. I usually try to remember to put all the front and back axles in before I do anything else, especially like putting the tires together, um, so I don't get confused and forget everything. So I make sure now that it's 100% before I do anything and put the tires on. It's usually once I put the tires on, that means I'm done. But as I know, I need to put a fuel tank in. I didn't do put the fuel pump. Fuel pump in. This video is going to be a little long, but... Um, at least I'll be getting these cars out of here. Where did the mufflers go? Okay. Didn't you guys just see me put mufflers in? Well, they disappeared. That didn't. Hold on. And I can't take them off because it disappeared on me. 
What is going on with my game? Well, I'll put those in after I put the transmission in. So yeah, my muffler disappeared. So, I'll speed this up. Alrighty, so it did the same thing with that one too. Gotta love it. Got to love it. I hope it will say that my car is 100% complete. Time for this side. That is very weird that my back end exhaust disappeared when I put it in. Very weird. And then it happens on the second car I do. Okay. That's very weird. is fine so good there Now, I hope you guys enjoy the episode. We are nearing the end of building this car. I know it's going to be a long one, maybe a 30-minute video, 35-minute video. I'm going to try to um, do as much as possible in the editing to try to lower the time that I'm... The video is, I guess. I recorded two videos today. One video being Fallout. The other video being Car Mechanics. So, as you guys know right now, don't have enough. I just went and bought a whole bunch of rubber bushings. Because I know I'm going to need a whole bunch. For some reason, I did not realize that I was running low on them. So, yeah. Gotta love it. But hey, um, we're almost done with both cars. We're gonna throw the motors in. I won't show you that part. Or I'll just fast forward it and still show you that part. 
could do that too. If I do stay quiet during the thing, during, you know, in Pacific areas, that's so I can at least try to fast forward. Come on. Whoa, didn't mean to do that noise. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the episode. Definitely we're nearing to the end. I'd say about another five more minutes and we will be totally done. might be a 31 minute video I don't know performance part so I try to go for the high performance and we'll do those in a second I should have everything for the cars though base so we'll put the car down when we do that drive shaft if the one car don't have it the other car definitely don't have it come on there we go high performance again I think the reason why I didn't go high performance in the beginning, I didn't realize they had all the right parts for it. So, it happens though. that there was other parts too. So, it's okay though, and here we go. I'll finish the other car up real quick. Alrighty guys, both cars are done. Now the only thing that I have to do is the oil over here. Take care of that. Come on, here we go. So, this will be the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment. We're gonna just throw one car on the dyno because they're both exactly the same. I will paint them and then show you guys the results after and then sell them. Now there wasn't very much cu customizations to these vehicles, but let's see what it goes up to. And it'll be the same for both vehicles. Four away from, from 500 horsepower and nine away from 500 torque. Nice. 80% gain. Nice. So guys, hold on. Red car before. 
red car after. And then I'll do a before and after of the white car. Now it had basically the same damage all around. Looked the same but white. Now, how much do you guys think both of these cars are worth? Do you guys think both cars would run around 200,000? Well, let's see. Oops. Sell. 180,392 for the white one. And then for the old red one that's blue now. So, 120,000. So, 180, 120. They're a little different. Um, same parts though. Alrighty guys, this is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry for such a long video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Peace.